Hey guys, this is Video Reborn. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use Teeter using AT&T and an iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, or whatever iPhone that you are using with OS 3.0. Okay, first of all, we have to turn this baby on. Go to Safari. On the address, you have to type in help, H E L P dot B E N M dot A T slash help, H E L P dot P H P. All right, it's already there because I went there before. Once you go there. you have this section like a block or something like that but you scroll down to teetering and internet settings now click on mobile configs download select the country which is United States here and if you're T-Mobile click in over here if you're AT&T select this it will ask you if you want to install it so obviously I've already installed this um, settings so you all you need to do is just hit this button okay it asks you to install the profile you just say replace or install whatever so you say Psst. all right now you are set after this what you need to do is go to settings general network now you see that internet tiering it's off I'm gonna turn this baby on okay there are two methods just read the instructions over here two methods one is USB which I like this because you can actually charge your phone and teeter this Bluetooth here it's when you do not have the cable with you and you want to do a quick teetering with your laptop computer then you do that otherwise stick with the USB okay because Bluetooth weighs a lot of power alright I'm gonna turn this baby on you see that my Bluetooth logo is on because I'm connected to a um, Bluetooth stereo um, headphone a receiver Okay, that's a Triton. But uh, we'll go back to the uh, teetering. I'll show you what's up with the teetering um, within the 3.5G that at and have to offer. First of all, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi network. Okay, to prove that 3G works. Now, I'm going to connect the cable to my laptop. Okay, that's my laptop. All right, the cable over here. The 30 pin connector. Now, you see that internet tiering? Check this baby. Internet tiering, man. Now, check this out, okay? Guys, if you want to do that, make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi or your local area network now look at it you see that iPhone 3GS that I have already um, preset renamed it I click over here and I select um, connect let me disconnect from the Wi-Fi alright disconnect come on all right, now I'm going to access the 3GS right now. Let's see, you go back to here. That's uh, Windows Vista. Um, connect to a network. Connect to a network. 3GS. Okay, now I think I am already connected. Cool. Okay, right now I'm already connected. You see that? iPhone 3GS internet connection 3GS now check this out baby check this out let me open Google Chrome 
and let's test out the Wi-Fi speed okay the I mean sorry the 3G speed 3.5G speed um, two wire dot com you see that now I'm gonna do this little speed test in two wire dot com and we'll check this out man check this iPhone baby check this iPhone check it out teetering man AT&T Oh, 1.8 megabit per second. Uh, it's okay. Let me do one more time, okay? AT&T. I own you, man. We own you. Okay? Check this out. Ah uh, ha 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 ha. AT&T. We own you, man. Well, as a lot more people will probably know this method, probably AT&T will do some kind of connection. I mean, uh, some configuration, altering. So um, maybe you don't have this kind of opportunity to play with your teetering anymore in the near future. Uh, they're going to charge you maybe uh, $60 for a data plan that you can teeter. So uh, we don't know yet. But uh, that's what AT&T is going to charge you. You see that? It jumps up and down. Right now, I am using 3G. Okay? You get 623.7 kilobit per second. But let's go to New York Times. That's what um, a lot of people love to go there to test out the speed. Because it's got a lot of graphics. New York Times. Okay? It's still loading. Now you can see the entire web page for maybe three seconds, three to five seconds. That's not bad. Um, so I guess you guys want to test out YouTube. Um, let's test out YouTube. Uh, let's see some HD content, especially. Uh, wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a cool phone. I know. Aquis. A Q U O. Aquis. Um, and then uh, 933 SH. That's a cool cell phone. Okay. SoftBank. This is a really nice cell phone with face detection algorithm. <laughs> For camera. Check that. You see that? The HD it's turned on. Ten megapixel camera with LED flash. Uh, touch or tap to autofocus, tap to digital zoom, um, eight types of barcode recognizer or I mean uh, detection, optical detection such as a uh, QR code, face detection, night mode, um, able to capture fireworks, best for July 4th. Yeah right, LED is not gonna work compared to scene on flash. Suck that. Yeah, I can do a 10 frame per second. Oh yeah, cute girl. Oh yeah, that's a really nice feature. I don't know if iPhone can do that, but that's called moving face detection. Moving face detection. Audio engine, blah blah blah. We don't know what the hardware in there, but probably iPhone is better, man. Not the camera, but the CPU. The it, iPhone 3GS has Cortex A8 CPU with 600 megahertz equivalent to 1.2 gigahertz of ARM 11 alright guys that's about it that's called iPhone teetering yeah I'm teetering right now check this again let me verify that it is teetering check this out man thanks for watching this is video reborn teetering on my iPhone 3GS using AT&T. Peace out.